When you swim with the sharks, you can expect to get bit. But what happens when the sharks turn on each other? So if somebody else wants to sneak up right now, they should. Here are the most heated arguments from Shark Tank. Christopher Gray probably had no idea what was coming when he walked into the tank. The Season 6, Episode 20 pitch was for Scully, a paid app designed to help prospective college students find scholarships they might not have known about. In the end, he got what he wanted. Lori and Damon joined forces to match his original request and landed the deal with Gray. Lori and I are going to go in 50-50 partners. That's $20,000 from her, $20,000 from me for 15% of your company. You have to make a decision now. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take your deal. Done. Good, done. Happy ending? Not quite. After the Scully creator left the tank, a massive blowout began between the entire panel of sharks. Lori, that is such crap. That's no, it is not crap. Here. We are not the charity tank. No, we're we not are here not to the give charity it up. That's not charity, but Robert. But you know what? That's not charity. Really? How does it work? How are you going to grow that business? What's the execution plan? Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to we're going to grow, grow the business. Trust me on this. What? We're going to figure it out. Education. Yes, we're going to figure America, it out. America, come That's to the right. tank. We're going to give you money. Oh, you we... didn't invest in anybody else who's going to figure it out. What are you talking about? You bet on the person. I never got any with information. The, with the information, I got information. He wasn't allowed to talk because you had to force forty thousand down his throat like a goose for pet hair. Oh my God! No problem, guys. That's I thought at in? that point yeah. that I received enough information to feel like I want to be part no of the ride. If he would have just said, "This is an idea," right. I wouldn't have done. I'm not that. trying to give you a hard time. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. You guys just really, don't I, like when you get scooped. The bottom oh. line is, in a move you don't often see on the show, Mark, Kevin, and Robert left the tank to get away from the fight. It definitely seemed like the right choice to get up and go, as things were getting way too heated between the sharks. Lori has admitted on Instagram that the sharks are all friends in real life, so their exit might very well have saved some friendships that day. What we did was great. I love it. Junior Desinor entered the tank with a pitch for Tour, the world's smartest lockbox. While he might have been one of the most prepared pitchers we've ever seen on Shark Tank, he could never have been prepared for guest shark Chris Saka's response to it all. From the get-go, Saka couldn't have been more disinterested in what Junior was selling. The investor was so sure the patent-pending lockbox Junior presented already existed, but his annoyance at it all seemed to take some of the other sharks by surprise. So the only thing you have different is the interface that's lets a big the seller difference. say, no. go ahead and open it up. Chris, imagine. Well, that's, it's a Chris, big difference, right, but it's not necessarily defensive. Right? Imagine right? if Let you could talk. see five properties. After nabbing a deal with Barbara Corcoran and Kevin O'Leary, Junior exited the tank. But that's when things got heated between Chris and Mark Cuban. And this time, the insults got personal. Where, how how is he making are you aware of that place? I know this is going over no, your head. No, it's not. Do you Mark, think people drive down the street no and look for houses? They see their dream home, they see a for sale sign, they love to get in. You don't understand. And then what do Mark. they do? Mark. And what do what they do? They Mark, do? The device exists today. It lets you in by Bluetooth. Not from your in that phone. circumstance. It can Not let, in that circumstance. With no. one new line of code, it can let in anyone. So in your example, I drive by and I want it now. Uh -huh. Right now. Yep. Right now. Who do I call? So you ping in the way. No, look, look, look. With the existing. Exactly. Hold on. Hold on. Watch. Exactly. Shut up and listen. Don't be mad at me that I understand this better than you do. Uh, I mean, look, you're saying he's got some special way of getting no, into the house immediately. No, no, no. That's and they're not, already ahead of him. They have exactly that. You have to go to Listen. the agent to get, in order to get, no, guys, you don't. In order, the guys, agent has got to send it to you. sharks can wanna, disagree. Look how any agent gets into a house with the other technology. They walk up, boom, they're in the house. So what you're saying is what the agents do, you can enable for the consumer to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Right. Hey, I get thanks that. for catching up. I appreciate Except it. if you're not using the agent, you don't want to call the agent, and you want to make it available so right that the now. keys are right there, and somebody who's comfortable with keys can use it. But he can't do that. Yes, he, he doesn't can. have a natural advantage there. Hey, why don't we he agree to disagree? Market. So why are a million lockboxes, the traditional lockboxes, why are a million of them sold a year? And why is the other company have millions of dollars worth of sales already There's doing exactly this? All they have to do is flip one bit and expand their audience, and, and they how win. Do you connect those boxes. How do you connect Good luck, those guys. I, I wish you luck getting your money back. Have a seat, Chris. We all agree we disagree. No, you got it wrong, Chris. I sometimes wonder how you made all that money, Mark. It's never a good thing when a shark lets out a massive sigh after a creator reveals how much money they're looking to obtain. Brightwheel founder Dave Vassen might have lost Damon from the get-go on the pricey $400,000 investment for a 4% stake, but that didn't matter as guest shark Chris wanted in on the preschool app right away. If you can believe it, a fight broke out between Chris and Mark when the former suggested the other sharks couldn't bring anything to the table for Brightwheel. The viewers at home weren't the only ones who noticed the tension rising. Are you serious? 
Are you really that clueless? No, I'm just, I'm... Seriously, are you really that clueless? I haven't heard you speak up, Mark. I'm listening, right? Look, I gave you a great offer, and Chris I'm fight. confident it'll hold up. Fight. So if somebody else wants to speak up right now, they should. So I don't need to convince Chris of anything. I have no problem with Chris and the value he brings and the other companies he has, right? When he assigns his name to it, it holds a lot of street cred in his little part of the world. Once you get outside of that little bubble called Silicon Valley, it doesn't mean As far as I know. If you want to, if you want to create a brand value so that somebody who's working in Texas, Pittsburgh, Maine, Florida, and wants to have an extra level of confidence to say, you know what, this was validated by somebody that we trust, something we know has a track record, your job gets easier. But not every fight in the tank ends with people storming off and smart remarks. In a move no one saw coming, Mark and Chris made a deal to go in together on Brightwheel. That's because there's no room for pettiness when millions are on the line. Hug it out! Thank you. Send a team up. Hug it out! Thanks for winning the health. Yeah. I have no doubt about that. Thanks so much, guys. Guys, come on. Shake it out. Come on. As longtime viewers probably know, there's always potential for things to get spicy when a guest judge hops aboard the shark panel. Even still, when Virgin CEO Sir Richard Branson entered the tank, things seemed easier going among the group. That is, until Mark called the founder of Simple Habit, Yuna Kim, a gold digger for asking for money he didn't think she needed. Branson didn't like that, and as the argument started to build, he decided it was time for these sharks to get wet for real. Oh, shocking. Oh, what a Shocking. Just because you crap on her with a fancy voice doesn't no, mean I'm, that's I'm, the same I'm, thing. I'm, I'm, just, I'm about to throw water at these two guys. Could we possibly come in for 300,000 and maybe for 10%? No, 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 sir, Richard Branson. I'm asking a question. It has to be 600. Oh, OK. I think the water just has to go. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me tell you what I think. I mean, the show can't go on, the show can't go on. Needless to say, no one landed a deal with Yuna for her app that day. Who knew adorable pillowcase dresses could get two sharks to bare their teeth? Entrepreneur Ali Lesser unwittingly caused serious tension between pals Lori and Damon when she pitched Cozy Bug to the panel. Both sharks wanted in on the company, which seemed like the perfect fit for either of them. But that's when the gloves came off as they attacked each other's reputations for selling. Wait a minute, wait, stop, stop, stop. I have to clarify one thing, because if you go with her, Right after she sells hemorrhoid cream, she'll sell your stuff and then dental cream or something else. We oh are no, not all, we, we are not all, about. listen, I know how to do what you want to be done. Damon, I just passed a lemonade stand this morning that sells more product than you. Whoa. I, know. I, know. I did six billion, b -b 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 billion. I did 500 million with Walmart this year. You're selling dresses for little girls. Who do you think is a better partner to make clothing for little girls? I have two daughters. I did a billion dollars in kids' clothing alone. Would you guys, Lori and Damon, ever want to do a sweetheart deal where we all work together? Yeah. I don't want it on QVC. Okay. I okay. do not want it on QVC, and okay. I don't think you should have it on QVC. Okay. Lori fought much harder for the company than Damon did, but with his reputable background in the garment world, he knew the deal was his. And just like that, Allie chose Damon to be her investor, noticeably perturbing the QVC queen. There's no way we're going to make it through this without mentioning a major shark fight that put Kevin O'Leary at its core. The creators of Lulu Bang Barbecue Sauce, Jeray and Kelly Beard, luckily didn't have to watch this shark fight go down, as it happened after they let the tank empty-handed. Everyone else had nothing but great things to say about the Beard sisters, but Mr. Wonderful didn't think they'd been truthful with the women, and he let them know it, kicking off an epic four-on-one brawl between the sharks. My whole point about these dialogues we're having with these people with all this glowing encouragement is you're not giving them the real risk profile of what they're spending their time okay, doing. Let's, okay, Kevin, let's talk That's about the, the risk. Truth. Let's talk about That's the risk profile. That's the truth. Kevin, you're an idiot. Somebody okay, let has me to tell, tell you. the truth. Let Thank me tell goodness you. I'm here, Mark. Thank goodness so I'm Kevin, here. So, Kevin, Kevin, because you, you think know, maybe... all this glowing stuff, that means the three of them spend the next two years trying to sell a hot sauce? Listen to me, Kevin, listen. I'm not listen. doing this kumbaya stuff. I'm, no, I'm not saying and kumbaya. You said they should stop. They should really assess whether or not it's worth the next two years to try and take 
Tell me story. Look how far she's come. Wait a minute, what are we supposed to do? Say, My you know what, is, give up, I would don't like keep to see going, a little because bit you're never going to get anywhere. Truth. Don't admit, look, how about telling them the truth? Kevin, what's wrong with that? you don't know that? the truth? And what would you have said about my earring organizer? It's like Dan Miss Ellen T-shirt. Do you know how many people said the to best, me, this is look. never going to go anywhere, you're not going to get it in any stores, nobody needs this product? If I had listened to any of them, if I, tried I would not to be find where I am the today. Hardest I'm going to go eat some barbecue to go into to get market share in. I think it would be the barbecue sauce. I remember the guy there is homie. no such remember, thing oh as an God. easy business. Order in the tank. But there are she some businesses that. that are born in hell, and this is one of them. I would rather work 80 hours a week to make 50K and work for myself than have a $7,500,000 job working for somebody else. If exactly. you guys loved it so much, how come not a dime from any of you? It's not her one business. Dime. It's her Just business. Just this kumbaya, we you keep all going gave stuff. good excuses. We didn't say good excuses. going Good excuses. I told them the truth. I didn't have to give them an excuse. Shame on you. Shame on you. Where's your eject button?